Abi. 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 Invite the gods. We should find a way to invoke the gods. Invoke the gods for what exactly? The gods have already given us the mandate to defend our kingdom in situations of war. The people of Umoganigu are already in our land and it is reported they have killed so many people. What do we do? This is exactly what I was talking about. I wanted us to take the war to them, but nobody was listening. Now they are here, already attacking us, and all we are doing is just defending. <sighs> Any news about our warriors, Your Majesty? Not yet. But I am certain they will return victorious. Certainly, they will return victorious. Asiama people are too tiny for us, and it will take us few hours to destroy. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. My plan is to wipe Eziyama out of existence. And that is exactly what is going to happen. Eziyama of Eziyama, they have made the greatest mistake of challenging us to it well. Exactly. And I will make sure he pays for that mistake. We are coming out victorious. But I suggest we have to celebrate this. Your Majesty, I, I think I agree with him. We should drink and celebrate our victory in advance. Not yet. Why, Your Majesty, if I may ask? As it stands now, we will have to be sure of victory before we start celebrating. Does it mean uh, uh, His Majesty is no longer sure of our victory? I'm very sure of our victory, but the circumstances, as it stands now, does not warrant us eating and celebrating. Um, His Majesty is right. Let us be a little patient until our youth returns with victory. Victory is already ours, but if His Majesty insists, then we shall wait. <laughs> I don't need it! I don't need it! You need this to protect yourself, your highness. No! I have not handled weapon of war all of my life! I have not! Excuse us. Mother. We are under attack. You need to take the weapon to protect yourself. I am not a fighter! Neither am I. At this point, we have to fight for our lives. No, I can't! Mother, I can't! You just have to try. No, no, no! I can't! Just is the end of the road for you. Do you know where you are? For your own good, I advise you to turn and go back to where you are coming from or I am going to sacrifice you to the gods. 
Just surrender yourselves. Or I start killing from you. That will not happen. Not why we are alive. Remain where you are, or you are dead. Both of you, take the queen and the princess to a place of safety. No, I'm going nowhere. You can take the queen with you. And remain oh. where you are. Remain where you are. <laughs> 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 I am proceeding to the boundary between us and people of Umuaganigwe. That is the piece of land where precious stones have been found, and that piece of land have come to dispute. I am going there to pray for peace. But as Onyendozi of Eziama Kingdom, I have come before Ajan Uku to ask for permission before I leave. Peace is supreme. And peace we must have. We must have peace in Eke. We must have peace. We must have peace in Oria. We must have peace in Afua. We must have peace in Nkwa. Ise. 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 There's nothing to fight. Give it up. Never. We will fight with the last drop of our blood. Exactly. Do you think you are cowards like your useless king? Who will sit in the comfort of his palace and send you to come here and make a fool of yourself? I am advising you to leave here now that you still have your two legs. Insult me all you can, but do not Remember where you are about my king! And if he does, what will you do? Both of you will end by my sword. Never! It's not even possible! If that was possible, then all of us would have been dead. You can't do nothing! I spared your lives! What? What? I spared your life! You should be grateful to me and surrender to me! I am the princess of Eziama Kingdom! I can never bow to an intruder! I am advising you! Live here now that your two legs are still intact. Or I am going to kill you just like I killed this fool. Oh, stop! Yeah! 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 Whatever you yeah! think you're doing in this land is evil. And I require you to leave. Now, what are you doing here? I am here to fight you. If you do not leave. <laughs> The action will incur more rot from the king. Of course, you know what it means. It will lead to your death. Do I look like I'm afraid of death? Do I? Nabife, get out of the road now. Get out! Remember, the, 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 your remember Majesty, you take your daughter and run for safety. Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Father, I beg of you, Father. I wish to go on the battlefield. No. Why, Father? Why, Father? I feel incomplete as a prince of this kingdom, Father. Our people are at war. The youth are on the battlefield. And yet you ask me to stay here and do nothing? Father, please. I will fight. Our youths are capable and are at your service. Father, this is a critical moment. We need to gather all we can to crush our enemies. Father, please! Our youths are capable and have assured me of victory, so there's no need for you to go there. Father, this can only be achieved by adding more manpower to the already existing one. Father, please. I won't allow you, bro.
Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, we captured this man offering sacrifice on the disputed land. How? Speak for yourself! Who are you? And what were you doing on that land? Greetings, Your Majesty, Zenna Kenyi. I am Onyendozi, the peacemaker of Ezema Kingdom. I've heard about you. Thank you very much. When I heard about the incursion of your people on our land, I went straight to that land to consult the gods of peace and to ask them to take over the situation and restore peace between our kingdoms. You went to that land for your selfish interests and not to consult any gods. You went to that land because you heard there were precious stones on it and you wanted to steal some. Can you deny this? I do many things as in Nakenyi. Stealing is not a part of it and will never be. You can tell that you are a stupid king. I am not lying to you, Onyeze. Lying is not in my nature. Because I know lying will not only complicate but also escalate the issue on ground. Guards, take him in and deal with him until he tells you the truth. Thank you. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Able youth of Allah, I commend you. Thank you, Father. You will all be rewarded. Yes, Majesty. This is my request. That's why I said, this you are doing it. And we must come. If any of you for me to be there, I will tell you. There's a way. Any problem, Father? Not a carry problem. Then why do you ask me to wait? We need to split. Why? What we need to do is keep going, not split. Any delay from our part, they will meet us up. Father, instead of unnecessary or long arguments, how do you want us to split? Good. I want you to keep moving down this way while I go this way. Okay. Why the idea? Because it is not going to be fair if they capture both of us together. So when you go this way and I go this way, it is better. You have a point. Good. Be strong, Father. And the same thing with you, be strong. Move this way, move this way. This is a deadly cage, secured by deadly, shocking charm made from Elulu. You can only remain in here. You cannot try to escape because if you do, you will be electrocuted by the great Elulu. But why are you doing this to a man of peace? Because you lied to me. 
you refused to tell me what you were doing on that land before you were arrested. I was consulting the gods. Liar. I have no reason to lie to you. I was only making sacrifice to the gods of peace. I have heard so much about you. That is why I'm giving you this last opportunity to tell me what you were doing on that land. I have told you everything I need to tell you. Is it only when I lie that you believe me? This man needs to be forced before he can say the truth. Yes. <laughs> you see, you can save yourself from all these pains by telling me the truth that I need to hear. What were you doing there? I was praying for peace. We have precious stones we collected from that land. Can you help us sell them? I have no business with the precious stones. You really need to believe me. The princess of Eziyama is in our custody as we speak. That is a confirmation. We have the edge. <laughs> you can say that again, don't you see? I told you. <laughs> I told you. The people of Eziyama are no match to us. Any time, any day. We will crush them. Thank you. Leader of our youths. Tomorrow afternoon you will have a meeting with me. Yes, Your Majesty. Uh, youth leader, you have done noble. You will be greatly rewarded. Hmm? Exactly. Get some pan wine and bushmeat. But one person is missing. Who? The king of Eziyama. I believe he's on the run. But he will have no hiding place. Exactly. There's <laughs> nothing hidden under the sun. Nothing. Eziyama is going <laughs> Who knows how our daughter is faring now? By the gods, I believe the princess is okay wherever she is. You see? Ezenakini. Ezenakini is going to pay for what he has done. I am going to run him out of existence. My husband, this is not the time for planning revenge. All we need to do now is to pray for the well-being of our daughter. Yeah. The princess is fine. I have this very strong belief that she is okay wherever she is. I just hope so. I just hope so. If by the end of tomorrow, my people did not locate me to this place to give me feedback on what is happening in Eziyama, I am going to leave this place. That would be too early. I am the king. And I should always be available for my people. Ah. You cannot protect other people at the expense of your own life. It's not done. I am here without the offer of Eziyama. Tomorrow is a K-Market day and under normal circumstances, I should pray for the people of that offer every other Ekebaka day. I understand how you feel. I understand how you feel. Trust me, everything will be fine. That you didn't pray on the offer during emergency will not destroy anything. Ezenda Kenyi, heed the ambassador of peace who was holding the sacred Akuko Gilisi. As if that was not enough, he still sent assassins. 
into the palace of Ezia to come and kill the king. My he is going to pay with his blood. My husband, let that not bother you. The gods know why all this happened. And I know there must be a reason for it. Please. My princess. Anger will not solve any problem. You really need to talk to me. Oyendozi, you should let me be, at least for now. All I'm asking of you is the whereabouts of your father, the king of Aziam. I don't know where he is. How do you mean? The youth of Umuaganigwe came upon us suddenly. We had to stand back and fight for our land. When the pressure was much, we had to run when one of them came in to defend us. You mean one of them came to your defense? Yes. How possible is that? Honestly, I don't know. He was the one who asked us to run. Then he settled to engage his brothers. Maybe the gods touched their heart to defend the royal family of Ezia Makimba. Exactly. But at that point, I was ready to see the fight to its end, even if it meant dying in the process. My princess, you have really fought hard in defense of Asia my kingdom. Much respect to you and my king. Bring her out! Bring her out! Where are you taking her to? I'm asking you where are you taking her to? Bring her, let's go. It's none of your business, old man. I will ask you one simple question and I want a simple straightforward answer. I don't have the answer to your question. Save yourself some pain and provide the answer. Then ask the question. Good. Where is your father? I do not know where he is. Look, princess, I am a very brutal man. Don't take me for granted, because I will do to you what you would not like. Don't lie to me. I am not a liar. You know where he is. I don't believe you. Tell me, where is he? Even if you hurt me, my answer will still remain the same. I am telling the truth. I'll give you some time to think about it. Maybe then you'll realize that your life is at stake. Take her to the cage. I have you exactly where I want you to be. 
Are you sure about that? Tell me why you killed Ogechi. And I will let you leave. I owe you no explanation. Then you leave me with no choice. Better hurt you. What did you do to her? Do you think you still have the right to ask questions? If you hurt her, you will invoke the curse of the gods. Your gods of Eziyama are useless. They have left you. I wonder the type of orientation you have. I pity you. You don't talk ill of the god. They don't abandon their own. But they have abandoned you. That is why you are here, waiting to be slaughtered. Young man, you are digressing. The question is, what did you do to her? Ask her yourself. Did they hurt you? No. Are you sure? Yes. Where did they take you to? To question me. About what? About my father's whereabouts. That means the king escaped from them. That is what it is. If you do anything from this moment that I don't like, I promise you, I will separate your head from your body. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> the only way for us to find out is for you to do any nonsense. And I'll kill you. Now that I have your attention, the discussion can continue. What do you want? Why did you kill Ogechi? I did not kill her. I need not to remind you that I am in charge. And if you do any nonsense, I will slit your throat. Why did you kill her and why are you after me? I didn't kill her. Tell me why you killed her. Oh, I did not kill her. I sent Uchi and Nduka after you. Why? I believe my wife killed Ogechi. Why would she kill her? I believe I made a decision that she didn't like. I asked her to leave. It didn't go down well. This discussion is over for now. Don't move. You fools! Took you so long. Not in my prince. Shut up! My prince, are you okay? Give me my knife. Get me my horn. I was there for a few hours trying to get her to get me a response. But you both told me what the princess said. Father, she has refused to tell me where her father is. What exactly did she say? She said she does not know where he is. Do you believe her? No, Father. Same here. I don't believe her. So what do we do now? You will apply force on her. She will collapse and die. 
and then tell you where her father is. That's exactly what I was thinking, Father. Apply some force. But I needed your permission first. Mm -hmm. You're my son. You have my permission. Thank you, Father. Why did you kill Gitch? I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you know what I am talking no, about. No, I don't. Just one Ekemake day after the prince kicked you out, with the decision to marry Ogechi, she was killed. And how is that my business? I am not joking with you. Tell me why you killed Ogechi or I will use force on you. Is that a threat? Call it whatever thing you want. Tell me why you killed Ogechi. I have said it before. And I will say it again. I don't know what you're talking about. Ulako, for the very last time, why did you kill Ogechi? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Ow! Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, you clear. You sent for me? Yes. Sit down. Thank you, Your Majesty. Once again, I want to commend you and your men for the good job you are doing for our kingdom. I want to know the suitable gift I give to you and your men. Your Majesty, we do not want any gift from you. What we did is a service to our great kingdom. I know. But a worker deserves some rewards. Your Majesty, if you insist. Very good. Well, give me between now and tomorrow afternoon. We'll think of something suitable for all of you. And, um, whatever gift you're going to give us will be highly appreciated, Your Majesty. One more thing. I gave you an express order to bring the King of Ezema to me. Why didn't you return with him? Your Majesty, we were determined to do exactly the way you ordered. But we had an undue interruption along the line. Interruption? How do you mean? At the point we wanted to grab the King of Ezema, Nabife, the son of Eloka, interfered. And that paved the way for the king to escape. That doesn't make any sense to me. Why would they look out interfere in my affairs? I don't know. I don't know. Where is he now? It's like he escaped. Find him and bring him to me. Yes, Your Majesty. Once again, good job. Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you. What did you say happened to you? I, I, I fell from a tree, Papa. You can lie to anybody, but not to me. What I can see on your skin are cuts. From who? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to find out from you. So, from who? Papa. How else do you want me to explain to you? Oh, don't worry about me, Papa. I'll be fine. Papa, let me get some herbs. I'm coming. Wait. wait. Do you know the, the exact herbs that's, that's needed for the treatment? Yes. I, I don't believe you, Neka. Um, her grandmother was the great herbalist of her time. I have no doubt she passed the knowledge to her. Yes, Papa. She taught me how to use simple herbs. Papa, I'll be back shortly. I'll go, my daughter. <clears throat> you 
see, I don't want to press hard on these injuries. So, how did you sustain them? There's nothing to talk about my injury, Papa. As you can see, I'm fine. No! You are not fine! you here. Now that I have your attention, can we continue with the discussion? Oh, Gondo, please. Can you just untie me? Please untie me. Please. Well, not until you tell me why you killed Ogich. Listen, I have nothing to tell you. The least you can do is just to torture me. Untie me, please. Because you're making a mistake. Mm, let me think about that. Now, torturing you is the, the least of my worries. Tell me why you killed Ogich. What are you planning? Well, I will quietly leave you here in the messes of the wild animals around here. And I assure you, they will devour you in one night. Kondu, no! No, no, wait, wait, wait! You can you, you, you don't, no, no, please don't, 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 don't go. Should I take that to mean that you are ready to talk? <sighs> yes. Yes, I will. Please, interest me this time. What happened? Did you see anything? No. Nabife disrespected the king by fighting you? I warned him to stay off our way, but he refused. And now, he has incurred the wrath of the king on himself. It's a pity because I know that the king will not take it lightly with him. Now I know that the dead that will kill a dog do not allow the dog to perceive the smell of his excreta. And that is exactly what is playing out now. On his second thought, the Nabife that I know has always been loyal to our land. Exactly. I expected him to join forces with us and fight our enemies, but he chose to fight against us. And he will forever live to regret this act of his. He will regret it. You, both of you, continue with the search. Follow me. Well, I've told you all that you, you need to know. Please, can you now untie me? You felt the only way to get back at her was to kill her? Well, that's the only way to get her out of my way completely. How did you kill her? I stabbed her. That day, I knew you were waiting for her at the bush. And the prince sent Uchi and Induka for the same purpose. But I moved faster. What is the meaning of this? Get out of my way. Get out! That's why you promised me you will never be seen around my prince. And that is never going to happen and you know it. It means you are looking for my trouble and you are going to have a full basket of it. <laughs> and did anyone tell you 
that I am afraid of your trouble. Look at you. I am going to kill you if need be. Stay out of my affairs. <laughs> Olaku. You will do nothing. You will do nothing. And let me warn you. Let today be the last day you will stand my way because of this issue. For the last time I warn you. Stay out of my way. Use the prince wrongly for killing Neogechi. I know. And I know you've gone to the palace to confront him twice. Who gives you information? Nobody. I have meant. I have means of knowing what everybody is doing in their different places. I'm interested. Tell me about it. I will. But it will cost you. Name your price. Oh well, you have to convince the prince to come back to me. You know that is not possible. Everything is possible. Just do the right thing at the right time. You that's don't it. understand. The prince is now my worst enemy. Prince, he will not listen he, to me. The prince is not your worst enemy. He is not. You need to accept all that I'm going to give to you. And that's it. I'll try. What? All right. Very well. When that is done, you know where to find me. My daughter, what is it? We have to go now. We have to go now. We have to go. Go where? This is no time for questions. What is going on? Papa, the youths are on their way to grab Nabife by the order of the king. Nabife? Follow her first. Please, please, please. Stand up. Yes. I'm not going anywhere with you. Leave me. Nabife, they are closed. We have to go now. Nabife, leave first. Leave after you ask questions. Go. Sorry. Go, 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 go. go. Sorry. Ah. No, take care of you. Okay, Papa. Uh, what else of our land? I hope there's no problem. That does not answer my question. Where is your son? My son is not around. I don't believe you. Do I have any reason to lie to you? I have none. Search everywhere. What is happening here? What is all this about, if I may ask? Hmm. 
there is no sign of him anywhere. And so what? He's not at the back of the hut. So can I now know what this is all about? Tell your son that the king needs to see him in the palace. It's very urgent. Let's go. What did he do? Hey! this place. Honestly, I am very tired. A little more patience. But my pot of patience is already broken. I have had it up to here. What if we go out there and they capture us? Then we are going to become their slaves forever. Ah. And the shame is going to be on the gods of Eziama who allowed this to happen in the first place. The gods are doing their own. We can equally do ours by staying here for now, please. It is a shame. It is a very big shame that Ezema of Ezema has run away from his palace. He's hiding here in the bush because he's running away from a fellow king. That's a shame. The king who loves the last laugh is the one who loved the best. That fool of Umoganigwe will not love the last love in this. Thank you for saying the nicest of things. Thank you. Thank you, my husband. I am... I am not going to speak ill of the gods. Sorry. Sorry. We are safe here. I'll be back. Ah. Sorry, they did not follow us. Uh, well, how did you know the youth was coming after me? I heard them talking about it on their way to your father's hut. It's uh, okay. Thank you for everything that you're doing for me. It is okay. I love you and I will forever love you. No doubt you have proven your love to me once again. And I will always do that. So tell me, what happened? They, they killed... They killed Ujumwa. What? How? I'm sure you already know that our community and the people of Iziama are at war. The day the war started was the day they killed her. But she's a medicine. I had medicine as spared during war. You see? That is why our Umar Ganigwe youth must pay. Because they have broken all the rules of war. Killing women and children. 
As if that was not enough, they invaded the palace of the people of Izyama and was at the verge of killing their king. If not that, if not that I intervened. That was a noble thing you did. It's okay, sorry. Thank you. My father would have thought otherwise. That was why I did tell him. Apologies, my prince. What do you want? I am here to apologize for accusing you wrongly over the death of Ogechi. Okay. Yes. I was so curious to know who killed the only woman I ever loved. And I was the only person that came to your mind first? You wouldn't blame me, my prince. Because the way this whole thing started, and how she died, all facts were pointing towards you. So I was convinced in my heart that you killed her. I can swear an oath. I did not kill her. I know you did not kill her, my prince. You know. Yes. That's why I'm apologizing. But the next time you decide to point accusing fingers, Better get your facts right. Okay, my prince. Um, my prince, there is something I would want to discuss with you. Very important. Before that, I want to know who killed Ogechi. My prince, Ogechi made so many enemies when she was alive. And I strongly believe that one of those enemies killed her. Who are those enemies? You don't need to worry about that, my prince. She now belongs in the past. Let's just leave it that way. Where is he? We did not see him at home. I believe he's on the run. Exactly, Your Majesty. I want you to fish him out and bring him to me. He will not disappoint you. Did you meet his father at home? Yes. What did his father say? He said nothing. Did you ask him about the whereabouts of his son? We asked him. But he said he does not know his whereabouts. But body language shows he knows something about his son. I mean, his son's whereabouts. More reason you should find him and bring him to me. No problem, Your Majesty. It's about your wife, Olako. What about my wife? She loves you. I do not love her any more. Why? She cannot bear me children! Hold on, my prince. That means you did not show her out because she wanted to marry Ogechi. Yes, I have been nursing that idea of throwing her out of the palace for a long time now. And I finally did it. So you are convinced in your heart that it's her fault that she has not conceived. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Listen to me, my prince. She is the woman for you. End of discussion! 
come to the palace this evening. Let's drink some warm wine to start the beginning of our friendship. I will try. Don't try. Be there. I want you there. Okay, my friends. Brothers, we cannot continue with this. We cannot continue without the king. We must go and search for our king and bring him back. You have a point there. But the problem is, where do we go and look for him? Uma is right. We do not even know if he is still alive. Our king is much alive. Okolondo, how sure are you that our king is not dead? Because if the king is dead, the signs would be everywhere. Okolondo, what signs are you talking about? It is something spiritual. Even if I explain it to you, you will not understand. Okay. Assuming our king is still alive, where do we go and look for him? The question should be, are we ready to go and look for him? Why not? He is our king and we care about him. That means we all have agreed to look for him. Yes. I will ask again, where do we look for him? My father told me of a place where great men go to hide during invasions. We will go there and look for him. If he's not there, then we would go and comb the bushes. We will not come out until we we'll find our king and bring him back. That is settled then. Let's go and look for him. Brothers, you will go back to your heart. Get the cutlass ready. We will meet here by sunrise tomorrow. Very well done. Greetings, my prince. What do you want? You have a visitor. Who? Your wife, my prince. Tell her I do not want to see her. My prince, she has been waiting for you since morning. I beg of you, please listen to her. Bring her in. Thank you, my prince. And that is why you have the bravery to talk back at me. The worst you can do is end my life. End it already and stop acting like a man who is not even a man. I am not ready to kill you yet. I will let you feel pain and agony. You will cry for death and it shall be far from you. <laughs> the more you talk, I see a weakling. Talking. You are the weakling daughter of your weakling father. I took your father out of his place. I will catch him and cage him and let him face the full rigor of Ilulu, the electric fish. I will annex your kingdom and let your people bow to me. Turn your kingdom into a village. I know what you're planning to rape me again like you did and inject your poison into me. Do not try it again. Do not. For if you try it again, especially now that I have voiced out, it will be your end. Poison. The worst mistake you ever made was arresting me and raping me. For you made me cry. You shall never experience the cry of any child around you. My prince, there is something about her. We are still trying to 
unmask. Take her to the cage. He raped me last night. He raped away his existence and his future.